Satnam. This meditation is called Caliber of Self-Authority. And what it means is it means it builds your ability to be able to stay on a dedicated path. So if you said to yourself, you know, I want to do these meditations and I want to continue doing these meditations and I want to get really good at them. This helps give you the capacity to do so because it builds what's called your caliber. In Kundalini Yoga, they talk about caliber is in, in a way that you can be a BB, that's a caliber, right? A little BB is a little small bullet. Or you can be a very large bullet. You can be a 9 millimeter. You can be a 50 caliber bullet. You can be a big bazooka bombshell. Your ability to build your caliber basically means that you have the self-direction to keep yourself going. This is the self-authority part. It gets you to stay steady. And staying steady will help you with the ups and downs of life because the ups and downs are gonna, gonna happen anyway. But if you can stay steady, it will create the balance in your life that gives you the capacity to stay steady. So when things are good, you won't tilt. When things are bad, you won't tilt. You'll be able to manage both in a satisfying and equally commendable manner for yourself. Let's tune in and then I'll show you how to do it. Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Three times we recite this prior to the beginning of all Kundalini meditations in Kriyas. So put a little pressure in your hands. Put your thumbs up against your sternum. Sit tall, your chest out, your chin in. Eyes closed, rolled up to the point in between your eyebrows, the brow point. And taking a nice, long, slow, deep breath. And then exhale. And then inhale again. And then exhale. And now inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Namo. Inhale. Om. simple meditation to do very calming very very calming you're going to take your thumb and you're going to place that at the base of the mound of your pinky finger both hands and then you're going to close the thumb down so the rest of the fingers are surrounding it and do this to both hands so again thumb to the, the mound of the pinky other fingers come down. So now we've got this little fist with our thumb tucked in on both hands. Now, the very first knuckles of each hand, the very first knuckles of our fingers, you're going to take them and you're going to, as our hands are locked down, you're going to take them and you're going to match each one of them. So you may have to shift your fingers around a little bit, but don't, don't lose contact of the thumb on that mount of the pinky. But you do want to bring these all together. So once those are all touching, the last thing you want to do is you want to take this part of your palm of both and you want to put them together. Okay, so those are also going together. So thumbs locked down, first joints of our fingers are connected 
and we're putting some pressure into the base of our palms as well at the very bottom so that we take this and we kind of have this like little V that's kind of been formed by our hands coming together. And then you bring this to the level of your heart. You don't bring it to the chest. You bring it just in front of the chest and you keep it there. And you sit tall with your chest out and your chin in and then you stare down the tip of your nose. So your eyes are opened and you're just staring down the tip of your nose the whole time. Now here's the breath pattern. So just listen for a second. So the breath pattern is like this. You breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. Again, it's in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. Last time, and I'll go a little slower this time. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. Now that's the breath pattern. Now I was breathing audibly so that you could hear me, but you want to try and elongate your breath as much as you can, and you want it to be as silent as it can be. So if I were to do this, let me show you just one round of me breathing like I just did, and I won't over extenuate the breath as far as taking it really long, but you won't be able to hear me breathe. And I'll do a full pattern of in, I'll do a breath out, do a breath in again and a breath out. So I'll be breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out through the nose. You don't want to hear yourself breathe. The more gentle you can be with the breath, the deeper this meditation will take you. So be gentle with the breath. Let's do a minute or two of this meditation together. I'll walk you through it. So sit, sit as described, chest out, chin in, stare down the tip of the nose. And I'll walk you through the breath pattern. So let's and when you, before you begin, when you're breathing in and out through the mouth, when you're breathing out through the mouth, think of yourself as blowing out candles. You want a rounded lips. When you're breathing in through the mouth, think of drinking from a straw. Okay? So that's the, the lips will be pursed, as they say, or an O-shaped. So let's sit tall. Let's Taking a deep breath through our nose. And let's breathe out through our mouth. Breathe in through the mouth. Breathe out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth.
out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the mouth. in through the mouth, out through the nose. And when you're done, you inhale deep, you release the hand position, stretch up, hold your breath for 10 seconds, arms reaching from the armpits straight up, hold for 10 seconds, exhale, keep the arms up, breathe in again deep. Reaching, reach, 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 reach. You're going to hold that for 10 seconds. You'll exhale. And then one more time, you'll breathe in deep. You'll hold. You'll stretch. And then you'll exhale. And that's the end of the meditation. So you'll start this. This is a demonstration again. So you'll start with three minutes of this. So set your iPhone. Samsung, whatever you've got. Set your timer for three minutes. You start with three minutes. Build up slowly to 11 minutes. So maybe you add a minute of doing this every day. And when you get to 11 minutes, stay there for a week or two. Stay at the 11 minute mark for a week or two. And then start adding time on again. Because you can take this meditation up to a maximum of 22 minutes. So once you've gotten to the 11 minute mark, hang out there for a few weeks. Add a minute then every day until you get to the 22, and then you can practice this meditation for 22 minutes a day. Again, this meditation brings your ability to stay encapsulated within yourself and give you the self-authority by building your caliber to stay steady. It's a fantastic meditation to do. It's very easy to get drifty with this meditation, so really try and stay focused at looking at the tip of the nose elongate that breath as much as you can breathe as slow and gentle as you possibly can let the meditation take you places where you want to go it's a fantastic meditation to do build your capacity to enhance your self-directed authority in life as always i wish you well satnam